Construction of Triangles In this module, you will learn about the topic construction of parallel line and some construction of triangles. Let us construct a parallel line from an external point using a sheet of paper. First, take a sheet of paper and fold it. Now open the fold and mark this line as L. Now mark a point A on paper outside line L. Then fold the paper perpendicular to line L such that it passes through A. Name the line as AN. Next, make a fold perpendicular to line AN and name this new line as M. Now we see that line M is parallel to line L. Can you say which property of parallel lines help here to prove that lines are parallel? Here corresponding angles are congruent for two distinct lines and a transversal, therefore the two lines are parallel. Using this property, let's construct two parallel lines using a ruler and a divider. First, draw a line L and a point A outside it. Now take any point B on line L and join A to B using ruler. With B as center and a convenient radius, draw an arc cutting L at C and BA at D. Now with A as center and the same radius as in step 3, draw an arc EF cutting AB at G. Place the pointed tip of the compass at C and adjust the opening so that the pencil tip is at D. With the same opening as in step 5 and with G as center, draw an arc cutting the arc EF at H. Now, join AH to draw a line M. Here, angle ABC and angle BAH are alternate interior angles. Therefore, M is parallel to L. For constructing triangles, Let's first revise some properties of triangle and criterion of congruence of triangles. We have seen that triangles are classified on the basis of sides and angles. Let's see their properties. First, exterior angle of a triangle is equal in measure to the sum of interior opposite angles. Second, the total measure of the three angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. Third, sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the length of the third side. And fourth, in any right angle triangle, the square of the length of hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the lengths of the other two sides. By using these properties, we will now construct a triangle if the following set of measurements is given. Let us construct a triangle in which measures of its three sides are given. For a triangle ABC, AB equals to 5 cm, BC 6 cm and AC is equal to 7 cm. First, draw a rough sketch that can help us to proceed the construction in a correct way. Start with constructing the baseline BC equals to 6 cm. Now from B, point A is at a distance of 5 cm. So with B as center, draw an arc of radius 5 cm. Then from C, point A is at a distance of 7 cm. So with C as center, draw an arc of radius 7 cm. Now A has to be on both the arcs. Therefore, mark the intersection point of arcs as A and join AB and AC. So we get the required triangle ABC. Now if we construct a triangle DEF with the same parameters as triangle ABC, then by SSS criterion we can say that triangle ABC 
is congruent to triangle DEF. To construct triangle PQR, whose measure of its two sides are given as PQ is equal to 3 cm and QR is equal to 5.5 cm and the included angle PQR equal to 60 degree, let's first draw its rough sketch. Start by drawing a line segment QR equal to 5.5 cm. Then construct a ray QX making 60 degree angle with QR. Now from point Q as center, draw an arc of radius 3 cm on ray QX and mark the point which it cuts at P. Join PR. Thus, we get the required triangle PQR. Now, if we construct a triangle GHI with the same parameters as triangle PQR, then by SAS criterion, we can say that triangle PQR is congruent to triangle GHI. To construct a triangle XYZ, if its given parameters are measures of two angles, measure angle ZXY is equal to 30 degree and measure angle XYZ is equal to 100 degree and the included side as XY is equal to 6 cm. Let us first draw its rough sketch. Start with segment XY with length 6 cm. From point X, draw a ray XP making an angle of 30 degree with XY. Now from point Y, draw a ray YQ making an angle of 100 degree with YX. Now Z has to lie on both the rays XP and YQ. So mark the point of intersection of the two rays as Z. Hence, we get our required triangle XYZ. Now, if we construct a triangle JKL with the same parameters as triangle XYZ, then by ASA criterion, we can say that triangle XYZ is congruent to triangle JKL. To construct a right angle triangle LMN with one of its side as MN is equal to 3 cm and hypotenuse LN equal to 5 cm. First, Draw its rough sketch. Start with one side. Draw line segment MN of length 3 cm. From point M, draw a line XM such that XM perpendicular to MN. Now with N as center, draw an arc of radius 5 cm that cuts the line XM in L. Now join LN. Thus, we get our required triangle LMN. Now, if we construct a triangle DEF with the same parameters as triangle LMN, then by RHS criterion we can say that triangle LMN is congruent to triangle DEF. Let us revise all that we learnt in this module on construction of triangles.